so a lot has changed since my last video of my car I decided that it was time to start doing some aesthetic stuff until I got the exhaust finish which I'm still working on working on getting a custom true dual I got half of it complete but the rest of it's on the way I got the OEM sport bumper with a tow hook plate holder which fits pretty good it survived somehow through a car wash that the dealership took it through then for the rear uh, I believe on my last video it was like this but it was badged so I debadged it and then somebody thought it would be easy for them to blend in the paint as you can see this one has ghosting in person it's not too bad it looks all right but eventually it'll fade out uh, so I ended up wrapping the other trunk then I bought this one off of another G the guy was selling it because he got a carbon fiber trunk lid which I absolutely want the spoiler came with it so I can't really argue with that I got to reattach the shit but I'm gonna have a shop do it because I don't trust myself and then um, once I get the exhaust done I'm gonna really start with replacing these wheels because I want something wider because that gap oh god it's horrible look at this it's not quite wide enough so I got a set in mind I'll be in another video once I get that um, if you go back a few videos I replaced the LED bulbs down for these bulbs down here with LEDs. 6000K cool white LEDs. The link will be in the description for them. Uh, they look really nice, especially at night. And then I got the same bulbs in the interior. Uh, it's the dome lights and the trunk light, which I highly recommend it for the trunk light because they it really lights it up, especially if you have the black interior for the trunk. Um, and then recently, a buddy of mine, he and I decided we were going to follow up on some other guy on Instagram, and we bought these Alla Lighting LED reverse lights. I do have photos which I'll attach at the end of this video with what's on there. I was going to go and do a custom, well, do a video, uh, you know, just straight out buy the cat back, but uh, I originally had no plans to modify the G. I wanted it to be stock and just keep it stock. Um, but not long after I bought it, say about two months, my passenger side, secondary part of it, the catalytic converter started going bad. So they told me it, was gonna, it wasn't covered under warranty and that uh, it would be 1400 bucks. So I said, fuck you. And I bought Z1 Motorsports High Flow Cats. Uh, I only got the High Flow Cats because I did not want any rasp with my exhaust uh, it's a G not a Civic so yeah there's that and then um, at the same time when I got the cats just before I got the cats um, one of the guys in the group that I was in uh, he was selling a Manzo axleback which just you know if you don't know what a mo axleback is I'm sorry but uh, that's what these are just mufflers and they're dirtier and shit I have to really clean up the inside I think I forgot some polish in there when I was cleaning I'll do that when I get home but 
they sound really nice with the high flow cats that still has that really deep sound uh, which is why when I finish the exhaust it will be a actual true dual exhaust system I don't want an X pipe and I don't want an H pipe though I hear that X pipes are you know better for performance but I get tired of seeing these videos about oh get a get an X pipe you know I have an X pipe but it's true dual Oh, in my eyes and the way I was brought up, true dual meant true dual, not X pipe, H pipe, Y pipe, none of that shit. But yeah, that's pretty nice. So let's go into the interior. So the inside, I added the paddle shifters, and they do work. Here, I'll show you. for the last nine years um, so I'm working on trying to find out a way to mirror my phone to where I can use ways on here but I've been thinking about just buying the V line because it's a cleaner install doesn't look tacky and you keep your stock functions and you don't have to hack any wires and shit which I don't want to fucking deal with that uh, another thing I wanted to do is, and if it plays sells them, I'm going to buy new covers for these things. This little plastic thing that's usually silver in our cars, but I wrapped it because I wanted to practice wrapping. I absolutely fucking suck. However, the passenger one I did second, it didn't come out as bad, but you can still see if I fucked it up right there. Yeah, so I'm not a pro at that. At least I have the balls to admit that. Um, another thing too is, you know, I drive this car like for work and it has my daily and all that shit. So my mileage just fucking skyrocketed, but I don't care. It's worth it. You know, I mean, the moment you drive a car off the lot, the damn shit drops down 20 grand. Well, it's exaggerating, but yeah. So eventually, yes, I want to change out the, like the interior pieces to either black or just get some new leather for them. I, I don't really fucking know because this shit's like I don't know. Like you guys could probably tell me like if they're fucked up, but I mean, look at that shit. I tried to clean them and shit, but it's just fucking worn. That's why I hate light colored interior cars because it's very hard to keep them clean. And then when you go to clean it, you don't know if the shit's been re-dyed. Um, yeah, that's my mess of shit back there. Most of that is work stuff. And then this is my little buddy right here. This is Pizza Steve. And Pizza Steve keeps me company on these long drives. Um, yeah. Uh, some business cards. Should probably keep those in the front. Uh, yeah. So, back seat hardly ever gets used. I should have bought a Z. But, yeah, that's uh, my plans for exterior and interior. But I do want to buy a lip to go onto the, uh, the front bumper because I want it to, you know, look nicer. But I'm going to wait till I lower it because I hear it looks tacky when it's at stock height. Uh, I don't know. I could put it on there. I'm just afraid to go too low because of where I work. And I, you know, work in the city, so there's like tons of fucking potholes and shit. Um, yeah, I'm parked in between two Hyundai fucking storage trailers and shit. I don't know. I've taken photos through here. My Instagram is also linked in here too. Uh, eventually, I want to replace these bulbs to something more classier to match this um, the reason I didn't put like those GTR styled covers on there or GTR covers 
is because this shit is already so fucking bright at night. It, like, you can see it through my tent. And my tent is pretty fucking dark. So, I could only imagine how bright it would be with clear fucking covers. So, I didn't want to mess with that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's basically it. I mean, shit. I don't have, you know, full plans to go FI or anything. Uh, because I just, I don't know, just don't want to. I don't think it's going to be, ever be within my budget, uh, at least for now. But I am going to, once I get the exhaust finished, I'm going to go take it and I'm going to have it tuned to the exhaust. Um, I am still contemplating if I want to pull through with buying cold air intakes. I mean, I hear like the admin tuning ones are really nice and they do a great job. And then there's like another brand out there that is very close to admin tuning. If not, from what I hear, they're slightly better, but they're like three inch tubings and you'll definitely need a tune for those. Um, yeah, so that's basically the plans for the G. Uh, so I also want to explain why I have an auto. Uh, my last Jeep was a 6MT. Um, you know, I loved it. It was awesome. And I dumped in like six grand into that G and eventually it started having too many problems to where the electrical issues were fucking up on me at 287,000 miles. So I caught it on a good day, took the G, traded it in for this one. Um, I should have got a newer one because the fucking Bluetooth shit. But, yeah, I, I really don't care. I can use these RCA cables down here. I don't ever use that iPod connector. I have the cable for it, but I don't fucking use it. I have no use. Um, everything's like fucking lightning USB now. Um, I have thought about the Tesla screen, you know. Because if that shit doesn't work, worst case, I could just sell it and just put this shit back in there. But it's the same damn price as the V-Line. And at most, I mean, I'll still have to use my internet for my phone to, you know, get certain functions to work and shit. But, yeah. Um, yeah, if I drop some comments. You can ask me about when I plan to do this shit. And I'm hoping really soon I just got to find a shop to... You know actually do it uh, because I'm gonna hack up the stock exhaust system because I you know my plans is if my G ends up totaled which is the only way I'm gonna let it go I'm going to uh, buy a Q60 Red Sport uh, I've been driving Nissan's for fucking years and I just love them and by the way this is my first video where I actually talk um, I, you know, if you guys have watched my other videos, there are music to some of them, but that's usually because there's no exhaust clips and there's no talking in them. Uh, I just, I'm f fully against that shit where people will like post a video of their car and they will have a shit ton of music playing in the background and you can't hear the exhaust system to the fullest. And then on top of it, like they start talking over all that, and you can barely even hear them over the exhaust and the and the music in the background, or the music that is playing over their voice because they have this baby voice, where it's just fucking annoying, and it's you can't really hear what they're saying. So like sometimes I feel like I'm missing out on key parts on their shit. But anyway, uh, but that's exactly what's going on with my G. Um, yeah, man, I'm up for, uh, recommendations on certain shit, so if you guys have ideas and whatever, just post it in the comment thread, and there you go, right there for you. Ah, forgot to mention why I went with automatic rather than a manual. A couple of reasons. One there were none <laughs> no manuals whatsoever as badly as I wanted one there was none uh, <laughs> um, 
Also, two, probably the most important one. Uh, so, when I had my OG, uh, one day my back kind of went out on me and I wasn't quite sure what happened. Had a MRI done and, uh, well, turns out I have uh, pre-DDD, which is pre-degenerative disc disease with small arthritis. So at any moment, my back can possibly just feel like somebody stuck a 12 inch serrated blade into my spine and constantly rotating it at a slow 360 degrees non-stop just completely slow like some shit you would see on saw or something um, so it's not one of those things that you know feels great either so driving a manual intensifies that pain and it really fucks it up um, it's excruciating um, I have thought you know instead of buying a Q60 later on uh, like if this thing were to get into an accident which I hope not can't really you know build the car if it's wrecked but uh, yeah I just yeah I can't really you know do without that oh since I'm here there's my reverse light shining in here I mean yeah it's daylight and shit but you know this is inside my garage. No other lights are on, but my reverse lights and my tail lights from hitting the brake. So there you go, now you get that angle. And then I'll post these pictures up like I had promised. So yeah, uh, sorry to cut this in at the end of the video, but that's basically uh, something I thought about on my way here and well, my way home and completely forgot to add in the video. All right.